Also now live at five with a 13 year old accused of murder after a shooting at a gas station in Marion tonight. We're taking a closer look at this case as well. Fox 59's Jesse Wells spoke to the victim's family and has their reaction to this violence. Just a few hours after the deadly shooting, police tracked the young suspect down to this home behind me and took him into custody. While the accused killer is a juvenile, the victim's family hopes he is held accountable for his actions. Just before 8 o'clock Monday night, Marion police were called to this Circle K and found a man lying in the front door, shot in the chest. 24-year-old Byron Dennis Jr. died after being rushed to the hospital. It's tough. It's really tough. It's just... It's just unfortunate. This is just, uh, he just has so much life to him. Jasmine says her brother was into personal fitness training and loved to make music under the name The Heartbreak Kid. But if only I know what I know now. In addition to his art, Byron always looked after his older siblings. He was like a protect, like even though he was a younger brother, he protected me through a lot. Anybody that interacted with Byron. They loved him. While police wouldn't confirm many details about what happened in the gas station, the victim's family claims Byron stopped at the store to buy some items when the teenage suspect tried to rob him and shot the victim with his own gun. The kid reached in his pocket, pulled out the gun, and shot my brother in the chest. The bullet went straight through his chest, through his back. Because the suspect was seen on surveillance video, police quickly arrested the 13-year-old at this home for murder and robbery. You're just a baby. You made a really, really bad decision at a really young age. As for where the suspect will go to court, the prosecutor confirms they will petition a judge in Grant County to hold a hearing about waiving the suspect from juvenile to adult court, but that process is not automatic. I know he's only 13 and my heart goes out to he just threw his whole life away, but you took a life from ours. You took an important and a strong and powerful life from ours. It was like, I don't, I don't want to slap on a wrist for him. Finally, after being arrested, the suspect was transported to another county to be detained pending the filing of formal charges. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News.